Look how cute that is. I would honestly love to have a little shop like that. Today is the day. I've packed up my things. Leaving everything else behind. For a quiet life by the sea. Tiny bookshop. Waterfront Square, Monday, summer 1st. Yeah, my favorite month. Just summer. <laughs> Alright. So this is Tiny Bookshop, uh, a narrative management game about, you know, running a bookshop. And uh, I just thought it looks cute. It was in the, the Wholesome Direct. It was in an event that's on Steam as of recording this for <laughs> games made in Germany. So I guess this was made in Germany. Um... Somebody in the bookshop. Oh, my my, what a sight. You must be the new bookseller. <laughs> I've heard so much about you. How? You're the first person here. Oh, don't worry. I have my sources. <laughs> Who? Anyway, welcome to our quaint little town. I'm glad you decided to stop by. I thought you might need someone to show you the ropes around here. I'm Tildy. I used to run the local bookstore here before my retirement. Lovely to meet you. Hmm. Let's see. You know us bookstonians. <laughs> have a very particular taste in books. I, for example, prefer to read classic and crime novels and not much else. So why don't I have a look at your selection and see if I can find something worthwhile? Well, I have crime and I have classic. Bravo, you had the right book on hand. When a customer finds a book, they will keep looking for more. Sadly, you do not have the right book on offer. Hmm. But it's right here. Even though you have books of the right genre, whether people actually take one home depends on your sale chance. Okay. You can check your sale chance at any time by hovering over the genres. Okay, so their sale chance is 32. Sale chance shows the odds that someone might find a book they like. Because the chance is based on how many books you have in your shop, it will decrease as you run out of books throughout the day. Managing to sell that last book of a genre is the mark of a great bookseller. This other person's here looking. They bought a travel book. Great exercise for my brain. She did not find a fact book that she liked, or a non-fiction book as those are usually called. All right, sold another travel book. That's from a small island, I can't believe it. She bought another fact book, I have a lot of those. Oh, and a travel book. They bought a classic. Another travel book, another fact book, okay. Oh, wow, these books are really selling. Oh, aw, Fern. Um, hi there, you're the bookseller, right? Yes. I see I already talked to Tildy. Did she know everything about you already? Right? Yeah. Yeah, she does that. She told me all about the review before I had even started my job there. Oh, um, I'm talking about the Bookstone- Bookstoneberry. <laughs> Jesus. Review. It's the local paper. Yeah, I sort of write for them. My name's Fern Estrada. Glad to meet you. Your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that's happened here in a while. So you'll have to excuse my nosiness, but it's sort of my job to write about you now. Um, how about you help me out by- answering a few of my questions, and I'll give you a free subscription in return. You might appreciate the events calendar, and people often sell used books in the classifieds. Right, um, so for the record, what made you come to Bookstonberry? Uh... Searching for where I belong, wanted an adventure... Hmm, I wanted an adventure. Oh wow, I kind of feel the same way. I hope it works out for you. Okay, and, uh, what's your first impression of the town so far? Uh, I think it's very friendly. Don't worry, it really is. People might be a bit meddlesome, but they only have the best intentions. Thanks so much for the little interview. I really appreciate it. I promise you'll have your first copy of the review by tomorrow morning. Have a look at your selection now if you don't mind. Um, see you around? 
Does Fern give bonuses? Because they're like a named character? Because Tildy did. I guess not. Alright. That person finished up. That person couldn't find anything else they wanted. Did you buy anything, Fern? I wasn't paying attention. No children. Okay. Oh, and it's the end of the day. Oh, the lighthouse blinked on in the background. That was really good detail. I liked that. Alright. Looks some very reveal. Rev review. Jeez. Oh, nice. Reports the goings on around town. You can check to today and tomorrow's weather. Keep an eye out for upcoming events. You can see your pocket money, all of the books in your store, and in storage. They're running a little low. Classifieds, you can acquire books to replenish your stock. Oh, these are free! Uh, those should come in handy. Maintaining a good stock of books is important to any part to part of any book selling venture. I wish I could talk. Um, classifieds will also have some other bits and bobs. Let's buy a lonely cactus. Uh, has a heart of gold. Oh, increases uh, travel sales chance. Close the newspaper. Okay, first of all, tiny bookshop rolls into books and berry. Um. Uh, Looks very newcomer, turns the new page, and presses locals with Moe Bookshop. You ever dreamt of going on an adventure and starting a humble business abroad? Oh, that's the answer I picked. That's precisely why this tiny bookshop operator has done choosing our very own Books and Berry as their latest destination. Um, they covered the rest of it. I want to hit this button. Let's look at this lonely cactus a new home. It's your item bar. From here, you can open the newspaper and customize your bookshop. Click here to customize your bookshop. Oh, okay. Ah, I've got like little slots. Let's put it there. Nice, you've got a boost. Some items can increase your sales chance for certain genres or change the effectiveness of other items. Sometimes this comes to the expense of another genre. Equipping some items will also increase your daily expense, so keep that in mind. Hover over an item to check out what it does. And to remove an item, do that. Decorate the outside the inside. Oh, nice! Let's place something inside. That's a better place for the cactus, I think. Alright. We can paint. Click and drag. I want to paint the wall. Can I not paint? Oh, we can paint the floor. And the bookshelf. Alright, once you're satisfied, hit save. Oh, and a book sign! Plus 50% to hanging effects. Folding table, nice. Guest book, nice. Alright, well, this is about to be the next 20 minutes. So I can change the color of like everything. Yeah, this is about to be. Alright, uh. Hold on. Brown floor. I'm gonna go to the outside really quick. Um. I need this to be pink, please. There we go. Let's see. That's cute. Okay, and the roof. That's cute. Okay. Put some furniture out. Where can this go? I think here is good. Guest book. Okay, that's kind of small. But if I pop it there... And then here, and then can I paint this table? I can. I should make it white to match. Can I paint the guest book? <gasps> That's better. Okay, I want to go back inside. Change that. And nope, the flower pot. There we go. Okay. Welcome to Books and Berry. Each day you can pick a location to visit on the map. The location has a travel cost, which is based on your daily expenses as well as parking fees for the location. You'll unlock more locations as you go. For now, let's pick Waterfront Square again. These are the books in your storage. Select a genre by clicking the it to start stocking the shelves. Place it on the shelf. 
click and drag to place multiple books. Now it's in your shop. Um, right. Check sales chance. Got it. Okay. You can remove with left click. Okay. And then let's fill up space. Okay, so the, we're gonna put. I just wanted to point out that in the settings, you can change the color of like every single book, which is nice for colorblindness and for style. Kids' books on the bottom shelves because um, if kids come in, children are small. I don't know if this is actually a mechanic to the game, but if I was, you know, making a real bookstore and I only had one shelf, kids' books on the bottom. Um. I don't know. I think it makes the most sense that you would have books organized by genre. Because if I was going to a bookstore and they were like, everything's in the most random space you've ever seen in your life, I would be more confused than anything else. So real quick... Uh, I'm gonna go... You know what? Hold on. Do that. I'm gonna take a few of these off. And then put a few more of these in. Okay. Summer 2. Look how cute it is! I wish I could paint my car. Do you notice you can look around the location? Oh! <gasps> Interact with things? <laughs> now I have a buoy! <laughs> yes, okay. And now we're open. Are there other- <gasps> You can pet the dog in this game. Game of the year. You can also buy books while you're out and about, but they will put in storage where you can access the next day. Okay, so I can't stock while I'm doing this. I'm just seeing what else there's around to click on. Oh, there's more birds. Nice. a bike I could steal. I clicked on it, wouldn't let me. Another guy with a hat. I wonder if that's like like a villager type and they're not like the name villagers and they just take specific like books like joggers will take like mostly travel and that kind of thing. Ah there you are. I wanted to commend you on how much you've been livening up this place. Hi Tildy. I'm sure you want to branch out to other places in town now. My friend Mary owns a very successful cafe in the town center. If I call her up and get you to give, uh, get her to give you a parking space, you could get quite a few visitors. Good call. Let's try that. Yes, I know, dear. You can always trust me on these sorts of things. It's decided then. Meet me outside the Cafe Liberty as soon as you can. Nice. Hmm. Go to the cafe and speak to Tildy. And while we're on the topic of showing your face... <laughs> I heard our dear Walter was quite impressed with your wagon. He's one of the local fishers. Why don't you go over there and introduce yourself? He should be back from his recent catch just now. Introduce yourself to Walt the Sailor. Usually talking to a seagull friend. You might want to write this down, love. Having an organized diary will come in handy in our business. You know what? I still have quite a few unsold journals left over from my old shop. So here, why don't you take this one? Oh, I have a journal. Thanks, Tildy. There you go. I hope you make good use of it. Goodbye. You've got the journal. I wouldn't any time to check on your progress, okay? Uh, there we go. Track which genres you've sold the most of. Useful for adjusting your selection. Total number of books you've sold. Hints. Stamps to mark your moments. Collect these stamps as you're making contributions around the city. You can see your progress for stamps as well as hints and extra info. Alright, so if I introduce myself to Walt... I'll get another stamp. If I go to the cafe, I'll and speak to Tildy. That'll help me. 
Um, okay. So can I go there now, or is this like a wait till the next day thing? I think it's a wait till the next day thing. Okay. Getting more fuel than yesterday. Oh, it burns back? Oh, bye, Tildy. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? Our weather correspondent in the paper said today will be the hottest day of the year. So I assumed you'd be at the beach like everyone else. Oh. I'm sorry. I already forgot you're new here. You just seem to fit in so easily. I- so sorry. Uh, sorry. I'll show you how to get to the far beach in case you want to drop by there soon. Nice. Unlocked another spot. Uh, visit the beach three times. I'm not really a beach person myself, but I'm sure the crowd there will need some of your reading material. And then when he's there, he ups the chance of fact sale books. Clearly not enough, though. Alright. End of the day. Looks like some items have been discounted. Now it might be a good time to buy them. Although you could wait longer and risk someone else buying them first. Items in the seasonal section have a much slower turnover, so there's no need to hurry. Be sure to snatch them up before the season ends. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's free, so we'll take that. Nice. Oh, that's also free. We'll take that. That seems like as many books as I need. Um, I got that buoy yesterday by clicking stuff. Oh, it's a hanging item. Yeah, we'll hang that and paint it. Gotta match the vibe. Very nice. All right. Actually, it blends in with the... Yeah, we'll put it there and that here. Okay, because that sticks out a little more right there. Um, the book sign I think needs... Oh, I can't paint that. Okay. Alright. Then I'm going to... Oh, I can drag around the map. Okay. Far beach and the cafe. We'll go to the cafe today. Um, how do I stock books? Do I have to click? Okay, I click on that first. Got it. Alright. Where do I see my book sale records oh I see okay I unlock one of these for each location there's like three stamps per location that makes sense um that was wrong go back okay I'm out of travel books for sale because they've got like the bigger sales chance I also actually don't even know if I put any out I think I might have completely forgotten them Okay, so let's get out travel books. Because they have like a good chance to sell. So we'll just do a full row. Um, I'm gonna take out some kids books because I haven't sold any. That might change with the new location, but still. I don't remember where to see how many books I've sold. So put that there. Um, and a few more of these out, because I'm not really sure I've sold very many of those. We've got a lot of fantasy books, so they haven't really been selling, so we'll put another row of those down. And then some of those, and... Hmm. Oh, I don't have any crime, so we'll put out some crime. Although, I sell a lot of crime. So we'll get... Couple more of those, and I don't sell a lot of these, so we'll get just an extra fact book down. I think that looks good. <gasps> Cute! Oh! Stamp collected, okay. 
There's Tildy. Ever so slowly making her way over. Ooh, there's a bird up here. That's fun. I like all of the stuff they have to click on. Oh, there it is. There you are. It seems like Miriam has her hands full of the cafe again, but she told me to give you her best. Now I have something you might help me with. I've been cleaning out my old shop for months now, smelling, selling the small pieces on the flea market. This Saturday, I'm trying to move more bulky items to the market. Help an old bookseller out, will you? They'll fit well into that little wagon of yours. Just pick them up and bring them with you to the market on Saturday. I'll you, and I'll make sure there will be loads and loads of customers in it for you. Pick up all five of Tildy's items at the cafe. Check by her old bookshop. Okay. Oh, I see it. I need your help. Sometimes people ask for help they can't find what they're looking for. Click the bell to help them, they won't wait forever. Listen closely to the request. Try to pick up what kind of book they're looking for. Hello dear, what have you got today? I'm looking for a piece of real literature, and I'm a fan of world-renowned detectives. I don't really see the point in travel books. So she wants fact books, which I believe are gray. Leave their likes and dislikes as said. Um. Okay. Here you can see important info about the book. Short description. Do you think this one's a good match? Oh, okay. Once you found it, try recommending it to them. Got it. Okay. Just a story why we still tell fairy tales. These seem to be real books. Um, Mesopotamian buildings, towards new architecture, short history of nearly everything, HTML 1998. Um, real world literature doesn't like travel books. I like that I can just see the yeah, like these are all real books. <laughs> Crazy. Sorry, I'm just kind of... Oh, this is a detective novel. Here. Agatha Christie. Great, you might have just found someone's favorite book. You're right, this detective character sounds fascinating. Glad you like it. I also think by real literature it might have meant, like... Like, not fact. I think I just got that mixed up. They'll buy this one and keep shopping. Glad you like it. And also, I gotta pick this stuff up. Alright. Gotta deliver that stuff. You are encumbered. Great. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all just right there, huh? Tilly's getting quite a stack. Hey, there we go. I'm actually selling drama books for once. Oh, she wants help. Ow, my back. I'm looking for a piece of real literature. I don't mind a dull book, but I need some inspir and I need some inspiration for the kitchen. Okay, so like a cookbook. Um, faithful canoe trip. I feel I'm looking at travel books first. Um. Because I think travel should include cooking. That's my take. Okay, architecture, Marco Polo, Italian villas, beautiful islands, Spore's Guide to Georgetown, uh, living in Alaska. Okay, no. Um, none of those are travel books. Crime would probably not travel. Probably no travel there. Scarecrow of Oz. That's a good one. Um, I 
Actually, I want to read this. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to just write this down. There we go. Um. Hmm. I don't mind a dull book, and I need some inspiration. Well, a dull book. <laughs> you want to read about architecture in Britain? I'm interested in the historical- It looks like there could have been a better feat, but they'll try this one and keep shopping anyways. Glad you like it. Yeah, I didn't have books on cooking. Oh, Frank Baum? Yeah! Oh, somebody bought a children's book. Oh, someone needs inspiration. I'm looking for a piece of real literature. People keep saying that. And give me something with a good layer of dust, but I don't want to read any more about war. It's for my next paper. Something old. Not about war. Um, it's for your next paper. But all right, technically, you could really... You could really use anything as part of a paper. It just kind of depends on your top, like, the class. Well, I mean, that's pretty old. Towards a new architecture? <laughs> oh, finally! Yay! Everyone has been telling me to read Towards a New Architecture. Glad you like it. I wonder if I could have been seeing, like, what these exact books were this whole time, like, in the menu where I'm shelving all of the books, or if I can only do it, like, during that. Alright, closing up. Thank you for playing our demo. Oh, that was it? I'm disappointed. I really loved that. We hope you enjoyed your stay in Bookstonbury. It supports my wishlisting on Steam and joining our Discord. See you there. I loved that demo. I'm really, like, genuinely disappointed that that's over because I feel like I just got into the groove of it. Um, I will definitely be playing more of this game. Maybe more on my own time than for the channel. Uh, just because I feel like a longer form of this would not be as exciting as it is for me to play it. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!